Gear, the right gear, is an important thing for you to have as a professional musician. Let's see how much of it you actually need. Okay, real talk. My main studio computer is an Apple Mac Tower from 2011. Yeah, my laptop is newer and stronger, but I just wanted you to know what I record on. And here's why. When we want to have that conversation about what gear you should buy and how much you should spend on it, and the most important question, when to stop buying gear, we need to ask ourselves what the goal is. Goals are super important, and I've spoken about them a lot in the past. I'll leave some links in this video. You can check them out. But there are big goals, like I want to be a rock star with millions of Instagram followers by the time I turn 30, or let's say I want to have hundreds and thousands of TV and film placements every year and make $100,000 in royalties a year. Those are just examples. Make yours personal to you. This is what you want. Dream big. So you have that big goal in mind? Now, you have to break it down into smaller chunks, smaller goals, and make them smart driven. I talk about that in the video I posted around five minutes in. I'll also leave a link below in the description. For my goal in the studio, my 2011 Mac Tower does the job perfectly. I definitely beefed it up with some old WC products as you can see here, but it's still an old ass computer. But as long as it works and does what I needed to do, I'm good. I'm not getting a new one because I don't need to. Okay, back to the topic of this video, gear. Why do you need to know your goals in order to get the right gear? Well, there are guitars that cost $100, there are guitars that cost $100,000. Same goes with preamps, mixing boards, plugins, any gear really. You need to know what the big goal is as well as the smaller ones to make a wise decision about what level of gear you need now and in a year from now and in 10 years from now. You also need to know where you are in the industry and where you want to be in a year and where you want to be in 10 years and then make your decisions based on that. There are many people who get into a cycle of buying gear and more gear and more gear without actually figuring out what they really need. I have many friends that do this. In fact, guitarists such as myself are some of the biggest culprits when it comes to spending money on useless gear. I'm not saying that distortion doesn't sound amazing, but why do you need 50 distortion pedals? I'll tell you why. Remember? Goals. If you're planning on being a session guitarist, maybe you even have a studio where you record guitars, yes, you could probably have some great use for 50 distortion pedals. So, yes, that would make sense. But if you're playing for Smash Mouth or Enrique and that's it, you don't need 50 distortion pedals in my humble opinion. Find a few you love, call it a day. Now let's talk about how to choose when to buy more gear and how. I recently had a friend who plays saxophone ask me which mic he should buy. He already had a mic that's $500 and was sounding great in my opinion. So my answer was, dude, you're good. People hire you because you're a beast of a musician, not because of what mic you're using. However, he had a good comeback and said that his immediate future goals included going up against some serious sax players and he wanted to have a great sound. Okay, I get it. So I asked, what's wrong with what you have now? What would you like to change? He said he didn't like the tone he was getting. I asked in return, well, what speakers are you using? He was using some speakers that aren't even worth mentioning. So I said, how do you know your issue isn't the speakers, huh? I told him, why don't you check out some mic shootouts on YouTube and see if you find something that actually sounds good on your speakers. Your answer might be to get new speakers. That might be a much better choice than a new microphone. My point is, ask the questions and do your research before you spend money on getting a bunch of gear. Okay, one last point to make. If your goal is to be a professional musician or audio engineer, I'd always suggest that you buy gear that you know will pay for itself. If you just wanna buy some gear for fun, don't even worry about this point. I'm talking to the professional musicians and audio engineers here. Years ago, I was about to start playing with a new artist. It was pretty much a heavy metal vibe, and when I got the tracks, I realized I should be using a baritone guitar for it. Thing is, I didn't have one at the time. But I made a quick calculation, and the guitar would pay for itself in four rehearsals. Meaning, I was getting paid for the rehearsals, and by getting the baritone guitar and doing those rehearsals, it would be paid off in two weeks. So I got it, paid it off quickly, and have been using it for fun and money ever since. Just keep in mind when you purchase gear for professional uses, how long before this gear pays for itself? It's worth asking. On that note, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please sub, like, and comment. We'll catch you next time.